What's up guys, Sound Alchemist here once again, and this time I'm going to be bringing you a deck list for my Heratic Eyes Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Now I've been using Heratic Monsters for a really long time, basically since they came out, and I've been going through different forms, whether it was Heratic Rulers, uh, Heratic Ultimaya, and now I've made Heratics with Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Galaxy Eyes, and a little bit of Odd Eye support. So uh, let's get into this deck list. I'm running the one Blue Eyes White Dragon, and that's because I could use him with the uh, Asset. And this guy can uh, change his level to a normal. So I could copy Blue Eyes, is go into a rank 8, which is my uh, Neo, was it? Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. And then I could overlay into Dark Matter, which I could send some cards to the grave. For example, Labyrinth or Red Eyes and my opponent would have to banish. So that's really that's basically why uh, Blue Eyes is on here. So I got the two Red Eyes, because Red Eyes support came out and it's pretty good. So, and then I got the one Summon Skull, because I need him to summon the Red Dragon Archfiend, or Archfiend Black Skull Dragon, whatever his name is. Then I got the one Labdorite, so I could go into my uh, rank sixes, or into Altamaya with the Heratics. Then I got the one Red Eyes Darkness, who is basically a staple in any dragon deck. Now I'm just trying out Odd Eyes Saber Dragon, because uh, I could put a Heretic on the field, tribute it, and send uh, the Odd Eyes to the deck so I could summon Odd Eyes Saber Dragon. And at the same time, since my Heretic is tributed, I also get their effect off, and I can get a uh, Labdroid or a Red Eyes, and from there I can go into a rank 7 play. And this guy's got an alright effect too, so when he attacks and destroys a monster, I can also uh, pop a card on the field. And that's the only reason why Odd Eyes is here. Uh, so I don't know, I might switch these guys out for something else. And then I got the three uh, Sus, part of the Heratic Engine. Three Tefnuit, same thing. And the three Essex, because these guys are where it's at. Now there's another one, I believe it's Nebthet. I never really liked that guy, so I'm not using him. And then I've got the two Manju of 10,000 hands. These guys are in here so they can search for my Lord of the Red or his uh, Transmigration. And I can, for any reason, if I, if I have to, I might uh, XYZ into a Rebellion Dragon. And then I've got uh, Keeper of the Shrine, Big Booty Defense. And his ability is really good, so he can come back from the grave if one of my dragons is sent there. And then I got two Black Stone of Legend. Really expensive card, but it's really good. You could pitch it and summon a Red Eyes, or if this is in the grave, you can send the Red Eyes from the graveyard to the deck to place this back in that hand for more shenanigans. And then I got the one Maiden with Eyes of Blue, basically because if I'm running Blue Eyes, I gotta run her, which would also allow me to run Azure Eyes, which has got a pretty good effect as well. And then the one Lord of the Red, because he was one of my favorite cards in the anime, and now that he's here, he's got a pretty good effect. Uh, which whenever an effect is activated, I can destroy a spell card or a monster. And then I got the one Allure of Darkness for that draw power. One for one, so I can get either a Maiden or a Blackstone of Legend into my hand. I got the Galaxy Cyclone. I got the one Red Eyes Fusion, so I could summon out the Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Regeki, Staple. Three Heretic Seal of Convocation, which allows me to search my deck for any of the Heretic monsters. I got one Cards of the Red Stone for draw power, but I might switch it out because I rarely see it. And whenever I do see it, I don't have any red eyes to uh, use it with. I got the one Dark Hole, the Dragon's Mirror, which is really good, which lets me summon First of the Dragons. I got the Transmigration for the Lord of the Red. I got a uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. And then I've got two Scrap Iron Scarecrows. So the reason I have these it's because of this baby right here, Altamaya Zulk. Anyway, on to the extra deck. I got the one XYZ Rebellion Dragon, because uh, I can summon it. I'm only using one a tomb. I had it to two, but I usually never brought two out, so I lowered it down to one. I got the big eye, so I can suck up your monsters. 
the uh, Dragon Charger so I can go through the uh, opponent's defense and inflict damage. And then I got the Draco Sack for the epicness. And now the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Really good. It inflicts 500 points of damage, which ends up being a lot over time. I got the Prime Photon Dragon so I can go into my Dark Matter. Uh, probably one of the MVPs in the deck. I got the Clear Wing Synchro, which is, looks pretty badass, and he's got a good effect too. I got Michael, which allows me to banish things, which is really good. And then I got Beals, another boss monster in the deck, really hard to take out. I got the Azure Eyes, because why not? <laughs> and then I got Altamaya, which is my go-to guy in the deck. Uh, really easy to summon with the Labdrite and Heretics. And I can set any spell or trap face down and allows me to special summon any one of these three guys. Really nasty when you pair him up with the Scrap Iron Scarecrow, as I've said. And then I've got First of the Dragons, which is really good because he can't be destroyed by monsters unless they're normal, which is really good. And then I got the Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. So that's my deck. And if you look down here, we've got a couple uh, side cards. I got the Galaxy Photon just because he's one of my favorite cards. I had Dark Arm in here for a couple of matches, but I never really drew into him, so I decided to put him to my side. I got the Dwarf Star Dragon Planetar because his effect is pretty good. During the end phase, if it was normal summoned, I can add a level 7 light or dark monster from my deck to my hand, but I don't know, it seems a little bit slow. I got the King of Bu, so I can use his effect with the Redstone to summon the Beast Eyes, which is pretty good, but uh, I don't know. And I got the extra Maiden just cause. And then the Five Headed Dragon, I wanted to put him in here, but you know, his extra deck room's kind of tight, so he'll sit in the side for now. Beast Eyes, cause I can summon him with this guy, and I don't know, I just like the uh, this guy, he looks pretty badass. I got a Red Dragon Scar right. This guy just looks badass and I really want to put him in. But I don't know, I might take him off for like, I don't know, a Draco set or something. I got this Stardust Spark. I had him in here so he could protect uh, Altamaya, but really I didn't really need the protection. And then I got the uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, which is really good. But again, tight extra deck space. And then I got the extra Atum. I got another one here because I thought if I put in two, maybe it'll work better, but again, it's not really doing much. I got the Dragon Shrine, which I'm thinking of putting it in instead of this one, but we'll see. And then lastly, Silver's Cry, which can use to summon any one of these guys up here. But, eh, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. So that's my deck, you guys. What do you guys think? Here we have a crazy tag battle with my Heretic Eyes, and my partner's playing the uh, Skull Servant deck. And then we're facing against like a weird Spellcaster Clown deck. I don't know, you'll see. So my opponent, or my partner goes first, pretty standard play. And then he goes with that Trick Clown and goes into King of the Feral Imps, which lets him get another reptile to his hand. And here he goes with more shenanigans with the Clown. Got the uh, Pyramid Turtle, which lets him search his deck for a zombie, which are uh, the White Knights or whatever they're called. <laughs> so I decide to regeki the board since he's got some pesky guys. Doesn't work out too well, so I go into my Archfiend Black Skull Dragon, and again more shenanigans on his part. And so I just have to pass it on. Galaxy Cyclone he really hurts us. <laughs> and he does that uh, Light Sworn milling, which ends up being good for him since he can now suck my guy with his 101. And once again, his clown comes back. Pretty tight up match. Uh, as you can see, we're only up by 900 points. Button tag duel, you never know. So he summons the king of the Skull Servants or whatever, and he gets 1,000 points for every Skull Servant in the graveyard. He's got six, so he's up at 6,000, but that stupid beast flip effects kills him. So he keeps on doing more shenanigans, summons Rhapsody and Berserk, which lets him 
banish two guys from our graveyard and then attach himself onto XYZ and give him a boost in attack. And as you can see, we are pretty deep here. <laughs> but I still got a pretty good hand. I'm going to Tefnu it, Sue, get my Labdorites, Sue's effect to pop a card or a back row. Let me get that, uh, yeah, I'm just doing mad crazy work here. As you can see how the deck goes off, goes into, uh, her attic. So it's just, it's going crazy. As you can see, trying to do as much damage as possible. But again, his stupid clown keeps on coming back. Uh, as you can see, he's got some JVs. Really scary. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't use their effect to uh, blow up the field, but there's still 3,000 beaters. So, hopefully, my partner can do something. And as you can see, an error occurs. Yeah, unfortunately, the video glitched out for some reason, but uh, somehow we ended up winning. I know he uh, uses his one for one to get that uh, King of the Skull thingies back, and then I know. His, the opponent uses Honest and he dies, but somehow he gets him back. Uh, it was a crazy matchup. I wish it would have worked. But anyway, that just goes to show you what amazing, amazing things can happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Even when you're not using the top tier decks. And it was a good uh, time to show off my Heretics with all those crazy combos in there. But uh, that's all I got for this video. Next video, I'm going to have a hero click matchup between me and a special guest. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And also, at my next video, there's going to be a giveaway. So pay attention to what you got to do to win you guys some crazy One Mind Syndicate awesome prizes. So I have been the Sound Alchemist here with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.